Hey guys! Welcome back to the So Cassie channel and today I have my sister on my channel! Hi. Yo, if you guys don't know, we are sisters. Yeah. And I am pregnant. <laughs> and today we're doing a Q&A together. We actually did one of these on my sister's channel, which I'll link up in the iCard. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I ended up doing something really weird at the end. I don't know what happened. Well, if happens. you want to know if she's going to look like pregnant, you gotta go see Missy's channel and go check it out. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go ahead and start with these questions. You guys asked so many questions because you guys are super curious about my pregnancy and what Missy thinks of it. So let's do this. All right. Okay, this person asks, do you think you and Missy will ever be pregnant at the same time? Ever. I feel like if we were to get pregnant at the same time, it would probably be this one. You think it'd be this one? But I, I just don't know for sure. I'm not obviously pregnant yet. Yeah, it'd be like way later in, not like way later, but it'd be later in my pregnancy if she did. But Missy is. I'm a flip flopper. She's a wishy washy. But washer. I can't imagine if I don't get pregnant mm -hmm. in the next like two years, and I can't imagine you're gonna have another one in the next two yeah. years. I don't think I would have another one after that because I, yeah. I'm pushing. You guys, yeah. I am like 30. I'm going on 31 in a minute. <laughs> you got to do it if you're going to do it. I'm going to do it. I got to do it before I'm a, what do they call it, a uh, geriatric pregnancy. Geriatric pregnancy. <laughs> so, so, if you, so if you were, it'd, it'd be probably this pregnancy, but it yeah. might not be till later. Like we'll be like late pregnancy friends. Yeah. Like I'll be massively huge and she'll be like be a like, little Ooh. cute. <laughs> Okay, here's a question for Missy. What does Missy think about finally getting to be an aunt? Yeah, I'm so excited. Honestly, I, I it feels like I'm getting a baby. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite people to tell was telling Missy because Missy, I knew Missy was gonna be super stoked. Yeah, I was very excited. Obviously, you guys can watch that reaction over on Cassie's yes. channel. Yes, go watch that out on CNC Life. We'll link up in the i card. Loved telling all my family, but I especially loved telling Missy. She yeah. cried, I cried. It was a whole thing. <laughs> it was a whole thing. <laughs> so to follow that question, Missy, did you have any idea that your sister was pregnant before she told you? Okay, so this is a funny story. <laughs> okay, but. You didn't know that I was pregnant, but I, no. but I am not good at secrets. No, okay, so I had no idea. The fact that she went out and got her IUD out without us knowing yes. was shocking. Yes. But the, the, the day leading up to her telling me, I knew. It was so bad. I literally knew. I even told Brian, I was like, I'm pretty sure she's pregnant, which would be crazy because she's not pregnant because she still has her <laughs> IUD. But I'm pretty sure she's about to tell me she's pregnant. And we obviously don't joke about pregnancy. No. So I didn't even think like, oh, she's about to prank me with a pregnancy. No. I was like, she's about to tell me that she's pregnant. Yeah. But how is this even possible? Um, and so it was, it honestly was, Pretty shocking, but also I, I kind of knew. It was so nerve-wracking on my end because Missy was the first person I was going to tell. I was originally going to tell mom first, but I didn't get mom stuff in time, so I was going to tell Missy first. And the bubble that was about to burst <laughs> with not having told anybody and me tra finally trying to tell one person yeah. was, I mean, I was Impossible. horrible. I was like, so what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Are the boys gonna be asleep? Like I was asking yeah, so many questions. She asked a lot of weird questions that I never asked. Like, and it's then, a weird thing that. And ask. then she just shows up. She's like, I just want to show you this bottle of wine at 8 p.m. And I was like, okay. I'm and I have this huge like smirk, like <laughs> smile on me. Yeah. I, it was. And then she literally is like standing at my counter before they're vlogging. So this is not on camera. She's like sitting there like this, and she's like, I was like, girl, what is wrong with her. And she goes like this. She goes what? And I was like, do you want to get your camera? <laughs> yeah, it was it was rough. And I only got better after that. Telling yeah, people yeah. after Missy what just kept getting easier. It yeah. was like telling the first person was killing me inside. Yeah. But that once was, I told her I was better. Honestly, that was just like the funnest moment though too. Because after she did tell me, she just like was freaking beaming. <sighs> but also like not, didn't, wasn't stressed. Was just like. I finally got to <laughs> relax and enjoy it. Yeah. Like it was like, like okay. Hey, it's real now. It doesn't feel real until people like no, almost. No, it does not feel real. <laughs> now it feels more real now that I told everybody. Yeah, because we all talk about it and we ask her questions yep. and we're like, so anything new? <laughs> Do you feel a little more prepared since Missy has been through two pregnancies and you have her to help? Absolutely. I can't imagine being the first one pregnant. No. I can't believe you went through it. Without, <laughs> I was like, like a tester. <laughs> you like had no idea like what was going on. Yeah. And so I feel way better now, and I actually feel like I'm way more informed than maybe most people would have been. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I was so involved in Missy's, Very both involved. of her pregnancies. Yeah. So well, I mean, all of them. All of Honestly, them. Honestly, she was at every appointment. Yes. And was there for some of the hard moments. So yes. she's very. I'm also very traumatized, yeah. which makes me very nervous. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a very nervous Nancy of my pregnancy. It's really sad that I definitely traumatized all of my family. Yeah. So, um, which really sucks. But she knows so much. She's very informed. She's probably more informed than most people who go yeah. into a first pregnancy. I probably did so much research in high school mm -hmm. on your pregnancy. Like I followed every inch of it because yeah. I just wanted to be a part of it. I was scared and I just wanted to be super informed. Yeah. So I feel like now with all the information I knew back in high school, which was like mm -hmm. seven years ago, I, I feel so much better now. Yeah. And now I have someone who I can always talk to. I can even watch Missy's past videos. Yeah. And because she just talks so in depth about her pregnancy. Very in depth. Like <laughs> 30 <laughs> minutes in depth. I was, I was trying to watch your bump thing. It was 16 minutes long. Oh my God. That I literally went. Uh, okay, yeah. just, I got the gist of it. <laughs> Missy, do you want me to have a boy or a girl? Okay, this is actually hard for me because if she were to have a boy, it would just like be like the best friend with. Ollie and Finn. Yes, definitely. They would get another brother. But I do really hope maybe that she'll have a girl because then I would get a girl and I could spoil her and I treat her like a little princess. Exactly. And nobody <laughs> in the family has a girl yet, so it'd be, be like way different. First granddaughter. Yeah. Like, it'd be like a big, big deal. It'd be like way different. Obviously, a boy would be super cool with the boys. Yeah. But a girl, I mean, the boys would still love this girl. Yeah. Doesn't matter either oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it definitely, like, yeah, like I go back and forth with what I want because I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I could just see both being so amazing. Yeah. Honestly, though, I just want to have a healthy pregnancy. Yeah. Like, that's all I want. <laughs> yeah, just I, used like, to, I used to not like when people said that. I'm I like, know. just tell us what you want. But no, I'm like, I just want a healthy pregnancy. I just want a healthy baby, <laughs> good pregnancy. <laughs> I just want to have the baby and then I can be excited. Yeah. Okay, Missy, what are some tips you give Cassie for during her pregnancy and for her birth? I feel like that's a really loaded question. Ooh, okay. I mean, like, let's just say like maybe like one or two tips. Okay. Well, besides just like relaxing and not being so trying, stressed about all those little things. It. Yeah. I'm going to say sleep. And I know that's what everyone says. And it's not sleep now because you're not gonna sleep later. It's like take advantage of naps because yeah. something I really didn't actually do with Ollie is nap. I worked in an office yeah. and I, I was so tired and I never took a nap and I regretted it. I was like, I should have slept more. Why not just nap? And then of course I got pregnant with Finn. I couldn't nap. I had a toddler. Oh my gosh. So if I don't so, nap now, you're telling me I'll never be able to nap. This is, <laughs> you can nap. I actually believe you can nap once you have a newborn. Yeah. That's when you nap in my opinion. But I think overall is like, just like, Soak it in, relax when you want to relax. Yeah. That's like really, really important. And that's really good advice because I think it's a really hard thing to do. Yeah. Especially in like the early pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Like no one wants to just relax and sit there. Yeah. Because they're nervous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Missy, will you be throwing my baby shower party or gender reveal? Or why not both? <laughs> Yeah, uh, duh, I'm she's, doing that. She's probably going to be in charge of all the baby stuff like that for me because there's no one else who would want to do it anyways, probably. Mom's not that kind of person. She doesn't yeah. want to throw parties. Yeah, I'll definitely be in charge of all Are you that. more excited for excited. like the gender reveal party? Like, because you're going you're gonna to be, like, we've yeah. already decided that Missy's going to be the one to know the gender. So mm -hmm. you'd be the only one who knows. <laughs> and, and I got to be the first one to find out. I know, so it's a whole turnaround. <laughs> And I think that's like probably more exciting than the baby shower. Baby showers are cool too, but I think the gender yeah, reveal. Yeah, the gender reveal is fun because everyone's involved. Sometimes baby showers can be just like, I don't know. It's like shower me. We're just showering her, which is With fun. Gifts. And it's and it's so exciting. Yeah. But like that is, everyone is so excited to find out the gender of your baby. Because no one knows. It's just all a mystery. Yeah. So it's such a suspenseful thing that happens. Excited. I wonder, have you even come up with any ideas for that yet? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You better start thinking. I am thinking. I am <laughs> thinking. <laughs> okay, someone asked me if I've had any bad pregnancy symptoms so far. And I like to think I haven't had any bad pregnancy symptoms. Yeah. I haven't had morning sickness yet. I mean, <laughs> knock on wood there. Because, I mean, I haven't had it yet, but I just feel like it's coming. Yeah. So, I mean, if, like, that's me the most bummer thing I'm going to get. Um, but other than that, I just have like very mild symptoms. Like yeah. I don't feel sick. I feel fine. I'm just tired a lot, but that's not bad. Yeah. I feel like I handle that. Did you have any bad pregnancy symptoms where you were like, this sucked? Oh, it was like the nauseousness. I mean, 
Whew. It was worse with Ollie than Finn because I worked a job where I couldn't just like sleep through that sickness yeah. feeling. I had to get up and go and I was just like at my office like mm. I threw up in cars, I threw up outside the windows. One time I was driving home from work and I threw up all over my windshield. I remember it was one time when you <laughs> threw up just on the wall, on like the hallway. Oh uh, yeah, I bet. like on your way to the bathroom, yes. you didn't make it, and you threw up all over I've the hallway. I've definitely done that, and I'm I'm very I'm a good I'm a good thrower upper, but no, but not when I'm pregnant. So I don't want that to happen. Yeah. How long did it last? I mean, it's at least until you're out of your first trimester. That's when why everyone start, talks though? about the first trimester being like really hard. So the longer it waits for me, the less I'll have it. So if I don't have it this week, I have it next week. That'd be less time. Yeah, I have less it. time for sure. For sure. It's Sure. I think that then. for the most part, it ends around 12 to 13 weeks. Some people it can go further, but I think mine most of the time started to subside until about 13 weeks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Second trimester is your, your, your friend. That's the best one. <laughs> I heard that third, second in school, third's like fun, but it's more uncomfortable. It's hard, yeah. Here's this one. What do you think you might crave? I don't even know. I don't know. Like, what did you crave? I don't know what um, I would crave. I craved cookies and milk. I loved milk. That's just so you. So much. You always crave yes, cookies Yes, but milk. I was like, okay, so like at night I have a cookie and I have um, like a glass of milk. Um, but when I was pregnant, I was like a lot. Like of a milk. lot of milk. <laughs> like a lot of milk. An embarrassing amount of milk. I think that Cassie is going to crave something really weird. Like, like... No, don't say it. I am not going to crave pickles. Do not even say that. I think you're going to crave salty, though. Salty? I actually do think that you're going to crave because I, I already know that person. you like salty, but I think it's going to get like super heavy yeah. and salty. If you crave salt, though, I heard that that means it's a boy. What? If you Interesting. Crave, although, I've heard if you crave sweets, then it's a girl, and that did not work out for that me. That did not work. <laughs> you are proof that that's yeah, not true. That did not work. Um, one thing that I could not eat my entire pregnancy with Finn was steak. What? I did not have no. one bite of steak. Take it back. My entire pregnancy. Could you not even smell it? Even the, I mean, yeah, it was, could not take, and I love steak. We both love steak. That's so I would go to, I loved going to Texas Roadhouse, but I only got the chicken. Yeah. That is not cool. I better not have that. <laughs> it was a weird one. I, I don't crave something. I, I can live with like no cookies. Yeah. Like, I know the, cookies fine. The entire pregnancy and the second my pregnancy was over, I, I could eat steak again. I did not <gasps> have a strange. bite of steak. It was a weird one. Luckily nothing's triggered me like that yet, but yeah. who knows. We still got a lot of time. <laughs> well, all right guys, I think that is it for today's video. That is all the questions we have. Obviously we have so many more things we could cover and talk about like all the time. And we will be. Yes. <laughs> questions below if you guys have any but it is actually it for today's video if you guys have it make sure you guys go check out missy's channel check out the q a we did on hers and that is it for this one we'll see you guys next time bye guys bye